Uncle Wasp was a much-loved son, brother, uncle and a father to each and every one of us. He was born at Warsgrave Hospital, a chubby, larger-than-life baby. He was always the life and soul of every party and family gathering. He went to school at Little Heath Primary, going on to Caledon Castle Secondary School and then Coventry Technical College, the informally known as the Butts, uh, where he went on to complete his A-levels and then went on to successfully graduate from the University of Leeds with an honours degree in mechanical engineering. Although that sounds quite boring, he was far from and his job actually took him globally, so he'd always come back to entertain us with stories from his travels and come back with souvenirs for us all. And he really lived his life as a free spirit, so he never let anything bother him or trouble him at all. So. Uh, he, he, didn't even, he didn't really stress about the monotonous matters in life until each day as it came. He, would always, he always felt that if the sun came out, so on a day like today where the sun is out and the sky is blue, he'd always say, make the most of this today. So he'd probably bring us to Memorial Park um, to make the most of um, good weather in the sun. Th this place is where we really shared many memories that we cherish to this day, and it's actually why we placed the bench where it is, because it's near where we used to play as children, it's where we used to have picnics it was it was it's where yeah it's where we used to take us and it was where our family could reunite as our family split across the country and it was really something special that we had as a family memorial park was his favorite park and as a child he used to ride his bike through memorial park so it was just his come to on a, on a nice day he knew really knew how to cheer people up around him um and he quickly became the comic and comedy of this family circle he actually used to come and buy us ice cream as well from the ice cream van or from the cafe as a treat for coming to the park and walking from the car <coughs> park all the way down here. Yeah, it was... Probably an excuse to buy one for himself it was. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it was really something special sharing an ice cream here, spending the day, spending our time with him. Uh, there, there was actually a time where, where, a time where he wanted to treat his nieces and nephews to a Friday night ma uh, McDonald's. And when he came to the kiosk to order, he realised he didn't have any f enough money. And so to avoid disappointment, we went to Tesco's and uh, he bought each of the ingredients needed to make a fillet or fish burger. Uh, and that, that is really something that, that we loved about him, that he would always go... He didn't disappoint us. He didn't disappoint us. And he made sure us. that he kept his promise to feed us that burger and chips on Friday night. Even if it wasn't for McDonald's, he went like as far as wide as he needed to go just to make sure he bought what he had to, to make sure he fed us. And it, re and it really happened. showed how much he loved us because he didn't, he didn't settle for anything less than our happiness. Yeah. Um, he was quite unique in his character as well, um, as, I, as you mentioned, like, life and soul of every party. So he actually had an orange-coloured Audi, which was easy to spot because I think it was like, literally the only orange-coloured Audi in Coventry. Yeah, it was, the most, <laughs> it was the most indistinguishable car in Coventry. Which you would know it easy to find exactly, in the car park afterwards. Exactly. After Especially when he's, if he's driving towards the house, driving across the road, you'd always know it's him. It's such a vibrant colour. But what we loved most about that car was it was always that car, the orange car, that had the footballs in the boot. So we were always depending about where we were to come to Memorial Park because he always had the <laughs> park equipment in his boot. And to be honest, at the end of the day, Uncle Wass's smile, candour, zest and instantaneous jokes will always live on uh, in our, strong in our memories. And we, it's something that we really cherish. And this park holds so many special memories for us. And it allows us to relive the moments that we once shared with him. So the bench for us is a good reminder of all the good times we've had with him in this park as we've created so many nice memories here. And at the end of the day, what seems small, kind of zest and instantaneous jokes will always live on strong in our memories. And like he used to say to us, if the sun is shining and it's a nice day, make the most of it. Thank you for listening.